In this part, we're going to work on lighting. I always start with a white model, so I'm not distracted by colors. Let's use the material override and choose a basic corona material. It's really important to exclude all the main things made of glass or another transparent or semi-transparent material, which can significantly influence the image. In our case, it will be the window. We need to create a glass material to apply to the extruded window. Please create a basic corona material, set the diffuse color to black, set the reflection level to 1.0 and refraction level something around 0.98. Our window includes a frame, so we need to create multi-sub material where one material is the glass part and another a basic corona material. And now apply the material to the model. Next step will be to add the sky to the background. In order to do that, press 8 on the keyboard and use corona sky as an environment map. In the render setup, choose Scene panel and select Start Interactive View. The first thing which I always change in the Post panel is reducing the highlights. Then I adjust white balance so whites are really white and not blue. The image looks flat now. There is no depth. For comparison, I'm showing you two images with textures. One which is my final, and another with the lighting from this stage. Can you see the difference? For sure. The first one is sharp, has a strong contrast, looks interesting. The one on the right hand side is flat, there is nothing exciting here. So in order to create an image with character, we need to use some tricks. I'm doing a quick test to explain to you what we will do with our scene. I'm creating two objects, a sphere and a box. Let's do one basic corona material and one with black diffuse. I'm applying two different corona materials to each. Let's start rendering. You can create your own quads where you can have quick access to the interactive rendering or do this the same way as I did it before. Setting the camera is not needed in this case. I only need to tone down the exposure so I can see my scene. Turn off the material override so we can see proper materials. Please take a look at the models in the parts where they are close to each other. We can play with the diffuse color so you can see how it affects the model. You can see that when the object has a black color, the shadows are much stronger than when it's white. And this is what we will be doing to our interior to make the shadows stronger. Firstly, let's create a big plane which will imitate the ground and make the scene look more realistic. Apply a grey material to the plane.
Let's come back to the Material Override option and adjust the exposure. Create a large sized box and place it. Copy the object and move it. Adjust exposure a bit. Select both boxes and open Object Properties. Uncheck Visible to the Camera and Visible to the Reflection Refraction options. So you cannot see the boxes behind the window and in the reflection of the window glass. Play around with the boxes and see how this affects the scene. We need another box which should be placed in between the other two. Look how the new box affects the render. Because we are blocking the environmental light, our interior is getting darker. Now it's too dark. We need to make our space look brighter. Let's adjust the exposure. You can see that the contrast between light and shadow is getting to be more visible. You can control the height of the boxes as well. Depends on the effect you want to create. Let's add newly created boxes to the excluded objects. With the pink color, it's even easier to see how these boxes affect the lighting and feel of the image. Create a new corona material and apply to the boxes. Try to change the diffuse color a few times and think of what is the best option for the result you want to achieve. I think we can start with a darker color and increase the exposure value straight away. You can adjust the highlight compress as well if needed. I would like to control the richness of the shadows. In order to do that, I'm going to play a bit with the Filmic Shadows value. To make the calculation of light even faster, you can use the Light Portals. In order to do this, you need to create a plane with the shape of the opening in our case, the easiest way will be to bridge the edges and detach the polygon we need. Next step will be to create the Corona Portal material 
and apply to this polygon. Don't forget to add this object to the exclusion of the material override. Unhide all and go back to work with our boxes. Add the same material to the box in the middle as on the boxes on the sides. Let's take a closer look. Cool, we're getting there. We're starting to have nice contrast between light and shadow. It will be good to have some tree blocking the natural light. Let's choose one from your library, or you can find anyone you like online. As you choose a tree, test its position a bit and try to find the best spot. Take a look at how the shadow on the wall looks. Move or copy the trees to be visible behind the window. I would like to imitate that this is an apartment but not on the ground floor. In order to do this, we can move the trees and the base plane down. Apply the dark material to the plane and exclude this object from the material override. Use the region to quickly see the difference. It looks good to me. That's it. I'll see you in the next video.